Lomax getting a gigantic lead at second. And the pitch hammered toward left field. Alou on his horse. That's over his head and off the ivy. Lomax scores easily. Pujol slides into second. A hittable pitch, and he hit it. 66 RBIs. Well, Rush went to the changeup. Barrett wanted it low and away, and Rush missed on the inner portion. And this guy's too good a hitter to miss something that floats on the inside portion. But he's looking for win number 11. That was what everybody was wondering about. There's the warning from Sheeta. It was Edmonds, their center fielder. Corey Patterson, our center fielder. That one behind Corey. And whatever message needed to be sent has been delivered, and there'll be no more of that today. Good hitters pitch, two balls, no strikes. And Derek hits it a mile center field and deep. Edmonds will watch that ball rocking way out of here. We told you Morris gives up home runs. Steve told you they come when he falls behind. A 2-0 rainbow into the bushes in center, and the Cubs lead 2-1. This game is going to be a high-scoring affair. Driven right field deep. Sanders going back. Track. Wall. Gone. No two pitch to Patterson. Breaking ball. Center field, Edmonds on the run, turns the wrong way, over his head, can't get it, one run is in. Tom Walker gets the green light, he's going to score. Six are in, in the second inning. Well, there's the way you get back at a brush back pitch. You just step up and double home two the next time. He'll wake you up. Looper into center field, base hit. Patterson scores, it's seven to one. are finding all the holes in Morris's game today and I would presume that would be enough for Tony La Russa. Very happy with that one. High fly ball right center field by Pujols. Will the ballpark hold it? The answer no. Pujols is two for two. 25 homers 67 driven in and it's a 7 2 game. That's why this lead is not safe today. We promised you a couple things when the game started. One was a high-scoring game into a very lively ballpark. Nine or so games. There's another shot deep left field, built it and gone. Ramirez two for two. That young man can fly out here. He showed it up until he got hurt, and he's shown it since he's come back. Might just have found themselves a third baseman for a long time. They all want to be there. That's how they got here. Hard hit ball toward third. Ramirez dives to his right. A long throw across the diamond, and he got it. What a play by Aramis Ramirez. And he rallies to take care of Eldred. Six strikeouts for Glendon Rush. Off the thumbs of Rush. That's a fair ball. Roland will step on the pillow at third, and that'll retire the side. Klein does his job. Cubs fail to score, and we head to the sixth, leading 8-2. to two. And here's Edmonds, 0 for 2 with two strikeouts, and he grounds that ball under the glove of Walker. Pujol scores. Roland stops at second. It's an 8-3 game. Well, the bullpen up and going, and Francis can't get loosened up in a big enough hurry. 3-1. A run is in on a bases loaded walk. Two in a row from Beltran. And folks, break out the scorebooks from June 23rd. This is a very similar scenario. 8 4 game, and the tying run comes to the plate. 0 oh, 1 the count. Back to the mound, off his glove. Alex is in, has no play. It's an 8 5 game. That ball would have been two if Beltran is able to catch it. It would have been two if it went through. In the worst case scenario, Beltran deflects it. High fly ball, center field, pretty deep. Patterson back at the track, at the wall. Plenty of room. That'll 
score Sanders. Matheny to third. It's an 8-6 game. He just missed. This Pujols again in this inning. Fly ball right center. Patterson on the run. Slowing now at the track. He's got it. And a great job by Merker. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And he gives up only one. The Cubs don't surrender the lead. High fly ball toward left. Taguchi on his way back to the wall. He'll leap up. And that ball is it's caught. caught by Taguchi. What a grab. Shades of Orlando Palmero last September and left for the Cardinals. Pujols three for three. With two runs batted in. And that one might be another home run. It is. One pitch in a one run game. Four for four is Pujols. If he misses the plate, he'll hit for the cycle. Alas, he touched it. That young man is as impressive a hitter as there is in this game. He went two out. Edmonds down on strikes for the third time in the game. 2-2. Two -two. Ta-ta. Time to save. One run game. Seven in the seven. This is like the right through the ball real well. Went right at guys. Strike three call. That's over the outside corner. And Calero has two perfect innings. Jody, great to see you. One strike. High fly ball belted. We are tied. You go to three and one. That fastball was right down the middle. It was a little above bell high, and it went a long way. And the Cardinals have come back a long way. Just the second home run of the year for So Taguchi. And the second home run given up by Farnsworth. Runner goes. Pitch cut on. Driven right field. Pretty deep. Sammy back. Sammy leaps. It is in the basket, I think. Yes, it it's is. Pull holes a five hit, three homer game. Unbelievable. to a one-man gang today and the Cardinals 3-2 fly ball hammered center field pretty deep Patterson as far as he can go and that one's going to go a five home run day for St. Louis St. Louis now has hit 122. One and two to Molina. And again, he throws the bat at the ball and strikes out. Well, Detroit has a tough time of it in the ninth inning. He looks homeward to Tim Sheeta asking where the strike zone was, and Sheeta says it's been that way all day long. It's been a long, hot day. And the Cubs are on the short end of a three run score. Well, he got thrown out of the game. It's not going to matter much, but Michael Barrett wants to keep him away. We don't need a Hawkins suspension. Well, as you saw us going to break, Latroy Hawkins was thrown out of this ball game. It may not matter to much. The Cubs are down three. And well, Latroy is going to be suspended. Yeah, he, it took five Cub personnel to get him into the dugout. Now he wants to come back out. Well, watch some of this. And you wonder how this entire team is starting to lose its composure. The Cubs down one closer might be down another one because Latroy questioned where the strike zone was. And this went on for a while with Latroy trying to get at Tim Sheeta. The best way for Bob Watson to give you a vacation. And this continued with Gary Matthews and Dusty Baker having to wrestle an irate Latroy Hawkins, a very strong Latroy Hawkins, who kept on trying to get back at Tim Sheeta, and it kept on going on. And it'll still go on after that. The Cubs. And Dusty is saying enough already. Get in the dugout. We can't afford to lose you. Latroy Hawkins doesn't seem to understand that. High pop, shallow center. Edmonds broke back. Coming in, still coming. He's got it. 
And the Cardinals sweep the Cubs. 11-8 is the final score. Dusty Baker's troops give them credit for at least this. They put together a rally with two outs in the ninth, but now double digits back in the Central Division to these red-hot St. Louis Cardinals.